Hello everyone, welcome to a very different type of video here. My name is Brad Hughes, hello, that's me. I'm not having my face in this video because this doesn't require my face. So what we're doing today is, I was lucky enough to be able to go to a Walt Disney World cast member preview of Galaxy's Edge yesterday and I was able to get this bad boy right here. The lightsaber, the hand-built lightsaber from Savi's Workshop. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown. If you want to see the entire show experience that me and Kevin Perger of Defunctland did, you can hit that little link in the description right down below and you can enjoy that because it's really cool, it's really worth seeing. If you're gonna do this experience though, I would probably not watch the video because it will ruin everything because everything's in there. So, yes, this is a $200 lightsaber from Savi's Workshop. It's a custom lightsaber. I use the word custom in quotes because I, as I found out, um, there are certain parts that they won't let you do. Like if you select, we'll, we'll break this down here in a second, but if you select this middle part, you have to select this middle part that comes together. So it's like a grouping of these two pieces and you can't go with one piece from one set and one piece from another set. So it's a little, a little, uh, didn't like that too much because it was like one piece I liked and one piece I thought would be cool to put it together, especially with it being, you know, scrap metal. Um, so I would do a little more flexibility. But other than that, um, so you, you do as you go and you select a category of lightsaber. This is Peace and Justice. There is three other categories. So there is Power and Defense, which is more like a Sith lightsaber. There is Peace and Justice, and there is Elemental Nature. Elemental Nature would be like if an Ewok made a lightsaber. That's the best way I can describe it. Like the end cap is like a Rancor tooth. I'm sure you've seen them online. So what happens is you go and you pay for your lightsaber first before you do anything else with the experience. And they ask you which one of the four categories you want to do, and you pay for it right there. And then they give you a pin that matches your specific um, category. I'm trying to get it to focus here. There we go. They give you a pin that associates you with your category, so when you go inside, they know which one of the four to give you to build your lightsaber. Then you can uh, you can take one person with you. So if you're only building one lightsaber, you can have yourself, the builder, and one other person building the lightsaber with you. So make sure you take somebody who knows what is happening and can appreciate it because it's really, really cool. Um, so when you go inside, they give you your tray. They do a whole little show. I'm not going to get into spoilers for the show, but it's really, really fun. Um, and then you put your pieces of your lightsaber together. And the cool thing about these is, is they are really, really customizable. They really are. Because you can kind of, even with the lightsaber that you get, you can take this apart as many times as you want. And rearrange the pieces. Now, granted, only two of the pieces can be, this is sometimes tough to do. Um, some of the pieces won't go to the, like, this is the emitter piece, so you can't put that at the bottom of your lightsaber because that's where the blade goes, right? So um, only two of the four pieces can actually be switched around. And let's take this off here. And while you are in there picking out your lightsaber, you can pick any of the four standard kyber crystal colors. They come in red, green, purple, and blue. Now we'll get to these over here off to the side in just a second. We'll talk about those too. But your kyber crystal is what is gonna power the lightsaber, right? Um, really cool technology in these too, by the way. Uh, they use, I'm, I'm assuming, I haven't looked into the technology too much of this because I just kind of wanted to keep it a little special. So if you see these little kyber crystals here, I'm trying to get it closer to the camera so it'll focus. I'm not sure why it's not. Come on, focus, there we go. There we go, there we go. If you look at these really closely, you can see there's some sort of chip in there. So when you put it into the lightsaber, this is how you, you determine your blade's color and you can switch these out. Now you only get one with your Savi's Workshop experience, but over at Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, they sell other colors. We'll get into those in just a second. So you put your kyber crystal of choice into this little piece right here and you get a really satisfying sound. And you lock it into place. You can see that looks really, really cool. Makes a cool little sound. So, you know, they tell you to turn it around, make sure it doesn't fall out of place, make sure it's in place there. Super cool. So, then you pick your pieces. I'm going to try to do this a little differently than the way I normally have it. So, you can see how different they can look. And these, one of the cool things I really like about this is it's super, super easy to rearrange your lightsaber. And I do know at Disneyland they are selling pieces of the lightsabers. If you've bought them before and have your original receipt, you can go and grab pieces of scrap metal. And they are $20 a piece, but you have to have your original receipt and your lightsaber with you at the time to be able to do that. 
So you can tell it's a little bit of a different lightsaber at this point because I changed the top and the bottom. Oh, I forgot to mention too, uh, what else comes with your lightsaber is this carrying case. So you can have it throughout the land because they don't really want you in the land playing with lightsabers, which is very strange. And you get the blade as well with these lightsabers. Hear that sound? That's how you know it's locked into place. Boom, there's my purple lightsaber. I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see the color a little better. Tell it's purple. It's really cool. It's got a nice hum to it. Sounds great. And when you hit it, get that flash, like in the film. So that's really cool and really satisfying. Also, too, I don't know if you can tell. If you leave it alone for a second, there's like a little bit of a, like a hum is the wrong word because that would be a sound, but like a, a flicker of the light. You can kind of see it. It's hard to tell sometimes, but I saw it last night in the light. It was really, really cool. So, this is the blade that came with it. You can also buy replacement blades if you need to, and they have different sizes, which is really cool. So anyway, you can rearrange these as much as you want, but like I was mentioning before, um, you can buy kyber crystals from Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, and they have a wide variety of colors. They have a white one, which looks really cool. I'm gonna show you each one of these in just a second. Really, really cool. A blue one. And the packaging is really cool, except when you're trying to open it, it's a pain in the butt because <laughs> the packaging does not give you like an easy access into these things and they just kind of, once you open it, they just kind of screw off. There's a green one. A yellow one. And a red one that I did not buy because I'm waiting to find the very rare, very elusive black kyber crystal. Still turns your lightsaber red, but one out of the 50 red ones is a black kyber crystal. So that's really cool. So um, I'll show each one of these real quick. We'll break this thing back down. One cool thing about the kyber crystals is you can do this whole lightsaber changing all the pieces and changing the kyber crystal without having to take the entire thing apart. You wouldn't know it from the way I'm struggling to do this. And there, there is something oddly satisfying about taking this lightsaber apart. I don't know why, but I've done it like a thousand times since I got it last night. But it's just really fun to take apart. So you just pop the kyber crystal out, put in the other kyber crystal that you want to do. It's a little difficult when you have big stupid hands like I do. But you get that really cool sound and the really beautiful color of that kyber crystal coming through there. It's really, really pretty. And you twist them back together and you're ready to your blade is ready to be put in to see the new color. Let's see what we have. That sound means it's ready to be put in and ready to be locked in. And we now have a white blade reminiscent of a Sokotano. Cool, right? One thing I love too is each kyber crystal has a different sound to it. So this is the white one. Sound to it. Really, really cool. And let's do the other one, shall we? We've already seen the purple. Blue one. Reminiscent of Obi Wan Kenobi and Luke's and Ray's. That cool sound. Yeah. Spin it around, make sure it's in place. And put the pieces back together. Put the blade back in. Lock it into place. And ignites it. Nice blue lightsaber. Blue is not my favorite color of lightsaber, actually. Um, my favorite one from the films is probably the green one. My favorite lightsaber color is the last one that I'll show you, the yellow lightsaber. Just looks incredible. It's beautiful. You hear the hum. Sounds more like a lightsaber you used to seeing and hearing on screen than some of the other ones, maybe. So if you buy any of the holocrons, um, each one has a different character that it portrays. So like you buy a green copper crystal, could be Gwygon Jin that talks to you. Um, it could be Luke Skywalker. If you buy a purple one, it's Mace Windu, obviously. If you buy a red one, it could be Palpatine. It could be Vader. It could be Kylo Ren. Depends on which copper crystal you get. So it makes it really interesting when you keep buying these little copper crystals. Put the blade back in. Boom. 
we have our green. Isn't that gorgeous? Sounds just like Luke's from Return of the Jedi. Isn't that awesome? That's really cool. Well, I remember as a kid, I was like, I want a yellow lightsaber. Um, and then as a older person, not a child, not quite an adult, 2011, I saw a book by Paul S. Kemp that showed a yellow lightsaber on the cover. Ever since then, I was like, I knew I was right about that. I knew a yellow lightsaber would be cool. And it is, in fact, cool. And this is my favorite kyber crystal, the yellow one. Look at how cool that is. Come on. Yellow kyber crystal. What? A yellow lightsaber? There we go. Got it in there. Look at that cool yellow glow of the kyber. Put the blade back in. That's really hard. Put, say, say put the blade back in fast three times. Put the blade back in. See, I can't even do it once. Put the blade back in. But there, my friends, is a yellow lightsaber. What? Isn't that cool? Listen to the ignition sound. Has like a metallic sound to it. So, overall, Savi's Workshop is an absolutely amazing experience. If you're a Star Wars fan who's always wanted their own lightsaber, this gives you the opportunity to do it for $200, which I know sounds like a lot, but for people who aren't in the know, there are websites for years that have been doing really high-end lightsabers like Saber Forge and all these other um, websites that do custom lightsabers. This is a far more inexpensive way to do those because some of those lightsabers can be like um, $800, $900, or $1,000. Um, they, they're really, really expensive. And honestly, these hold up. I actually think I like the Savi's lightsaber. It's heavy. It's made out of metal. It's, it's, it's metal. It's metal. Um, they're sturdy. They're heavy. They sound great. They look great. You get to pick the pieces you want. I mean, for the money, it's really not a bad idea bad option because you get the lightsaber, you get the blade, you get the case, you get a kyber crystal that you get to pick, and you get a really amazing experience. Um, with these, you buy them in a box and then you put it together and that's it. There's no real emotional connection to it other than, you know, I really like Kylo Ren's lightsaber and I want to own it. This makes it feel like it's your own personal lightsaber that you have come up with and designed and it's really, really cool. And I'm, I'm going to do another one at some point because it was just a really, really fun experience. Plus, right around the corner for, for like $12, $12 right now, like 12 and a half bucks, you can buy each one of these little kyber crystals and they change your lightsaber blade color. So it's, it's really, really cool. Um, I, I can't recommend the experience enough. It's really good. I can't recommend it enough and I think you should give it a chance if you're a lightsaber fan or a Star Wars fan or have just wanted to see what Sabi's is all about. I highly recommend it. So thank you so much for watching. Go down and comment down below what lightsaber choice you would get. And also, if you're gonna comment down below, and you're gonna say, I'm dumb for buying a $200 lightsaber, I don't need to hear from you, I don't care. There's things that you would spend money on that I wouldn't spend money on, so I kinda look at it the same way. Like if you're into your lawn, you buy like a $2,000 lawn mower, I would think that's a dumb waste of money, but you wouldn't because you're into the, like lawn. I'm into Star Wars, so for me this isn't a stupid way to spend $200. In fact, it was uh, one of my favorite things I've done at a Disney park in a very, very long time. So keep your comments to yourself if you suck. Uh, other than that, we will see you guys on the next video. This is very different, so I hope you like it. Comment down below, hit like, subscribe, and share with all your friends, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.